Welcome to the Wasabi Quick Start Tutorial. This tutorial is meant for end users of Wasabi Hot Cloud Storage to help you easily set up your storage sub-account. You don't have to be a storage admin or have technical expertise to manage your files like a pro. I'll walk you through the Wasabi Management Console and the four simple steps to get up and running with your Wasabi Hot Cloud Storage sub-account. The first step is to contact your Wasabi Cloud Storage provider for the login credentials they have assigned to your account and you may be prompted to change your password after you log in for the first time. Now, after you log in, you'll be brought to the dashboard, which gives you an overview of your account, including your active storage, deleted storage, total objects, number of buckets. And then from here, you can navigate to other pages and functions from the left-hand menu. So here we're going to click on buckets, and we'll be brought to the buckets page. And let's continue by clicking create a bucket either on the top right or in the middle of the page. You'll be prompted to enter a bucket name. And select a storage region. And for this example, I will choose the US East in Northern Virginia. Of course, your list will look very different depending on how the administrator has set up your account. So uh, then simply create the bucket. If you click next, there are some advanced options. But for now, we're simply going to create the bucket. and we've successfully created a bucket. Now step three, now you see your bucket on the buckets page within the management console. Simply select the bucket, the bucket to which you would like to upload data, and you can now upload files or create a folder within the bucket. So to upload files, simply click on upload files and you can either select from your local computer or drag and drop files to upload to your bucket. If you choose to add a folder, you simply create the folder, give it a name, and then you have the same options of adding an, either another folder, a subfolder under that folder, or uploading files in the same way that, that you see here. So now step four covers the process of creating an API access key set to use with third-party storage applications. So we select access keys from the menu, and to create a new access key. We just click that on the top right. And next we keep the default selection of root user and create the key. This will auto generate an access key and a secret key, which we can show here. You will need both of these keys to use Wasabi with a third party storage application. You have the option of copying these keys to the clipboard and then pasting them into the third party storage applications interface you can download them as a CSV file. Make sure to download your key file now as you will not be able to retrieve your secret access key again. For more info, please visit wasabi.com help and thanks for watching.